seem to recall. Yes, my dear, I do remember our meeting well. I was walking to the shops. I fear I did not prepare for a visit as lengthy as this one has become. Eden Tudor was the most gracious in its welcome. I have, I have had few evenings free since I have arrived last month, but my dear uncle seems content and pleased with me to stay on a few weeks more. I have written to my mother asking her to send another gown or two, but I thought I would visit a local dressing room to see what Eden Tudor has to offer. Please join me, Miss Pettigrew. I fear I overtired myself shopping today. I find this view of the bay so pleasant, especially with the ships in the harbor. Perhaps you would advise me as to a local dressmaker or tailor, one that would have books of fashion, from which I could choose a new style. And I would also need to know from whom I could obtain the necessary fabric and embellishment. Of course, my dear, I will gladly give you the address of my dressmaker, a most accomplished seamstress. I myself have ordered a sack dress made of a length of blue silk my husband purchased for me in Philadelphia. Uh, to be worn after my child is born, of course. Although the sack gown is no longer the height of fashion in Europe, the style was recommended to me by several friends who have young children. I will not be accepting any invitations for a time, of course, but one must expect callers to welcome our baby. Yes, of course, and you must have something new to wear to celebrate your child. Several years ago, she made for me a most beautiful gown with a matching petticoat of rose silk taffeta with string. Trimmed with self-fabric roses, she had fashioned herself. She is very talented and knowledgeable about fashions from England and France. So, the French styles are popular here in Edenton? Let me hasten to correct myself. Some of the fashions of France have been seen in Edenton. The Polonaise gown, for instance, is very beautiful and is often copied by local seamstresses. It has made an appearance at several large parties and balls recently, but with a more modest bodice, of course. In the evenings, ladies here will appear with a décolleté bodice, but at no other time. And even then, not with as much bosom as is revealed in Paris, I am sure. My mother and father were in France last year. My mother reported that many ladies, well established ladies of society, mind you, appeared on soirees with nothing covering their bosoms, save a single layer of sheer gauze. My mother was most scandalized. As would I be, thankfully no such vision has appeared here. I did all arrive here, in this harbor. Links of silk taffeta, yards of Belgian lace, silver to be worked into shoe buckles, ewers, and teapots, and golden thread to be imported into your husband's waistcoat, no doubt, my dear Mrs. Iverdell. <laughs> or in the beliefs of a doting husband newly arrived home from Philadelphia. Yes, Miss Pettigrew, Edenton's treasures do arrive here, although I myself never considered it. I just think of it as a lovely place to sit and catch my breath, and a breeze off the bay. Then I will leave you to it and continue on to the shops. Mrs. Arnold, thank you so much for your assistance. I think I have a better plan. Come to my home tomorrow before tea and meet my James. I would enjoy a longer visit. You are most gracious. I would like that too. Allow me to accompany you.